has been fast. I think it's been like uh, a very gradual thing. I think in a lot of ways I've been maybe doing this longer than people think, you know. Um, uh -huh. I've been putting out records for like five years now, maybe a bit more. Uh, and... Undercover. You know, under that, like, initially under another name and then I had But I feel like it's all very naturally progressed. In each year I'm kind of as it grows, I'm pleasantly surprised and like really pleased that it keeps growing. And I'm lucky, you know, I'm lucky to have had such a, um, to be doing this as long as I have and uh, to still be doing it, you know. And each year it gets bigger and better and I feel very fortunate for that. I mean, how I started out way back when was singing in bands when I was a kid. Like, really? that's, that's how I first started, yeah. Wow. Um, Rock bands. Rock in, like indie stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, wanting to be wanting to be a pop star and you know yeah, singing yeah. bands and uh, be a singer, and then slowly dance music and and learning production took over. Um, and you know my my aim was never to be a DJ. That was never my uh, your goal. No, it was never my goal. No, my goal was always to be a, an artist and a producer and just make records. So the whole mm -hmm. DJing thing kind of came as a surprise to me. You know, when I started putting out records. Suddenly it was like, oh, people want me to come and play these records to them in different places in the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, I had to quickly, like, learn to be a DJ. Like, although I, I, I had decks and I, you know, had decks for vinyl um, when I was a teenager and I, I always enjoyed DJing, it was never a, a career plan as such, you know. And then, I see. I and see. suddenly now, you know. So it's been I'm like destiny, I guess. Like that kind of stuff that happens. Yeah, it's just something that's happened that I'm pleasantly surprised and loved a bit. But yeah, it was, it, it was definitely a surprise at first when I started DJing so much. And um, But yeah, here I am, you know, like a few years later and I'm still doing it. The gigs get better every year, playing to more and more people, so I can't complain. I'm very lucky. Yeah. Today I was straight in and out, but I've played at Razzmatazz maybe five times over the last four or five years. And uh, at different shows I've managed to stay for a few days and get to know it. And Barcelona is one of my favourite cities in the world, like without a doubt. Wow, you I like it? it. You like yeah, it. absolutely love it. It's got everything. It's got, it's got great food, <laughs> great shopping, great architecture, it's got a beach. Long fish. And a lot of nightlife. Great nightlife, like it just feels like, yeah, it, it's just got everything you could uh, you could want. No, do you know what? I don't know a lot of Barcelona eyes or even Spanish eyes for that much. Who's like, what's? Bilbaino, you have to say, Alex. Who? Bilbaino. Bilbaino. Oh, see what? Um, yeah, I don't know. Who, who? You tell me. Who's who's good in Barcelona? John John Talbot. John Talbot for Oh, of course I know John Talbot. He's Spanish. <laughs> he's, he's, he's from here. Yeah, he's, he's from Barcelona. From Barcelona. Oh, I always thought he was French for some reason. Yeah. God knows why. Okay. Well, yeah, I like John Talbot. He's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. My opinion on Sonar is I wish they booked me to play. <laughs> I have so many years I've been like. Am I going to play Sonar this year? And I never get to play, which is a shame. So I've never been. But um, my God, I would love to play Sonar. Like it's one of the most prestigious, best electronic music festivals in the world, and uh, to play it would be an honour. And you know, I think for a lot of DJs, playing that festival ticks a box. You know, so yeah, I, I of course I know about it. I love it, and I'd love to do it one day. So. You know, so sure, that. eventually it will, it will happen soon. I'm, I hope I'm so, sure, man. I gen, you know, I feel like I feel like Barcelona. I've had so many great gigs here over the years, and Spain in general. I always love playing in Spain, and I feel like um, Sonar is like one of the last things I haven't done in Spain. You know, so I hope so. Cool. <laughs> I've grown to know the whip now from doing that remix. Oh, 
Yeah, but at the time I didn't know them. Like we had mutual friends, but I didn't know them that well. And their their label sent me the track and said, "Did you want to remix it?" And I heard it, and I was like, "I can." It's it's the way it goes with any remix. Like if I hear a track and init- straight away I have an idea, like, "Okay, this is where I can take it," then I'll do it. And with that track, I immediately thought, "Right, I want to make this LCD sound system meet Jacques Lecon." That was my uh, vision for it. I was like, right, I can hear that. If I can get those two into one track, uh, I, I could see the way to go with it. So, um, yeah, and uh, that's what I, I aimed for. And it's interesting you ask about that because that's one of those remixes that people always ask me to play, that they love. Is it on the set this time? It, it will be now, I will definitely. <laughs> He's a great fan of that. I will play it on Wicked Man. Yeah, and, and I, think, I mean, your remix is. Same. I think when I, when I heard the original, I could just hear that the synth line they have in it, in the chorus, I just thought it was so strong and the vocal secret weapon was so strong, but the original for me didn't make that the main focus. It just wasn't... That's it true. It didn't have the... You know, because the thing in that track that has the impact isn't anything I wrote, it's what I drew out of the original. So the parts were all there, it just needed, like, boiling down to a more concise point and bringing to the front, you know, and I think as a as a remix, that's always the best sort of remix to do, is the one where the parts are so good in the original, you don't have to like write a whole new track, you just have to bring the strongest parts of, of the original to the front, and um, that's what, yeah, with that track it was an easy remix to do, it happened in no time at all, you know, it was very quick, and uh, yeah, it's kind of taken on a life of its own, you know, over the years there's like, I can pick out four or five remixes that have maybe, you know, I do a lot of remixes and all of them I love, but I can pick out you know, four or five where they really like became something more than just another remix and really like became their own thing and that's certainly one of the ones that I'm, I'm really Thank you.